Oh boy, the V400 has been working overtime on more fan showdown stuff, something else I've been working on, but it's really nice this weekend and I remembered I owe you, where is that thing? I owe you a follow-up video on this guy. If you seen this video, you might recognize what this is, but essentially, in a nutshell, I took um, an old tiny tad fishing bait that my dad had that they no longer make and he wanted to see if I could 3D print him some new ones and I took a whole bunch of pictures of it uh, and modeled it up as best I could and made this and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in seeing this video but we tested it in my fish tank and it seemed to work like the original but I said when it gets warm outside we'll take the kayak out and see if it can actually catch fish and that's what we're gonna do today this should be a quick video a little bonus video to see if we can make this thing work as intended. Let's go. So I set out to the normal, my normal fishing area, which is basically there's a state park nearby that I drive down to every now and then to go kayak fishing. And that's where I thought I'd give this a shot. And the funny thing was, is as I was heading over, I stopped at a gas station for some water and some dude that was checking out saw that I had a kayak in my truck and he's like, hey, you going, you going paddling? I was like, yeah. He's like, where are you going? I was like, oh, I'm gonna head over to, you know, Seven Lakes and see if I can catch any any fish he's like what are you fish for and i was like well bass bluegill you know kind of whatever bites he's like ah i used to work there and i was like well, inter interesting and he's like if i give you a tip there's a beach there and across from that beach there's a cove and that is where i've caught the biggest bass i've ever caught there while i fished over the fish there over the years and i was like oh interesting so that is where we're gonna head to this little cove i've never tried there before but we'll see uh we'll see how it goes now one concern i did have is the lake that i'm going to seven lake is really really weedy the water's pretty clear so the weeds go pretty big and the tiny tad isn't really known for being a top water lure so i was concerned that it was going to snag on every single thing on planet earth and it wasn't going to work at all so as soon as i got over to where this this guy had sent me i decided to put it in the water and just see how deep it was going to go maybe i could keep it towards the top and i was pretty pleased with how it looked in the water itself and i think we got a good shot so the hunt began for literally anything that would bite this thing and uh i was a little nervous because i only brought one gopro with one battery and gopro batteries last for about five seconds so i needed to catch something quick or it was going to be nothing at all and i'm not gonna lie it looked like it was going to be nothing because after about an hour or so i had like 30% battery left in the GoPro and I had not even gotten a bite and I was like, "Woo, we are not looking good. So I decided to go way back in the back side of this little cove where this guy told me to go and see if I could find anything in the last 30% of this battery before it was all, all said and done. So I went back to the back, threw it into a tiny little shallow area and I was like, if I was a fish, that's where I'd be. And that's when it happened. And while I was reeling it in, I was actually kind of nervous that it was going to break this bait apart. It's only PLA glued together and then nail polish but it worked great and we had our first largemouth with only about like 15 percent battery left left to go the best part was though as i was trying to maneuver this here fish to to get it on camera make sure that i got it on camera uh it's nope but that's okay i had been victorious i had caught a fish with a lure made of pla glue wire some nail polish and it functioned well and didn't break on me but i did have like five ten percent battery left on my old gopro so i decided i was gonna just keep on trying and see if i could catch another one and i'm not gonna lie to you 10 15 minutes later i had another bite and this time it was a bigger fish I also did a better job getting it into the kayak this time and made sure to secure it so I could better prove that I was successful in my quest to see if a 3D printed bait worked. And then I just let her go. I did try for a bit longer after this until the GoPro eventually did kick the bucket. I didn't catch anything else on this bait and after the GoPro died I switched over to a bait I would normally use and tried some other stuff and I didn't catch anything else. So the only two fish I caught were caught on the 3D printed bait. And that was it, but I still think it's a success. Let me know if you like this video. I know it's not the norm for the channel, but I had fun making it. Hope you had fun watching it, and I'll see you next time.